I'm not sure I can remember how to it do this thing. Ah, there we are. Well, where have I been? Life's been a little bit boring at the minute, I'm afraid. So I've just been doing mundane things, and a lot of people have messaged me and got in touch with me saying, Where are the vlogs, Harry? Why well, aren't you doing anything on camera? Well, you know, I've always said that when you're doing YouTube videos you can't really force a video because it's really obvious well be careful what you wish for because I'm about to try so a bit of an update we are on the whew, 20th of December something like that and well, it's rather miserable here in Redford at the moment normally it's quite nice and sunny uh, the chickens as you can see are doing fine so I thought I'd give you a, a quick chuck date. They're obviously not laying many eggs. That's unfortunate. Um, so I've got a few things to do today and I thought I'd bring the camera along with me. Can you be quiet please? You're crashing the audio. So uh, yeah, first things first. The weather's marginally dry so I'm gonna have to cut the grass. You asked for it. Of course the chickens love it, seeing as they're, they're grounded, if you didn't know, bird flu is rampant in the UK right now, so you have to keep all of your birds locked up under cover. Obviously this is, as you can see, under cover. So they don't get to come out and have a graze on the grass. So that is going to have to do for the little chicky boos. Come on, fuck us, you fuck. Well, hopefully that's not as exciting as it's going to get today. Probably is though. Uh, who thought? Who the thought? Hey, hold on. Let's see what date it actually is. Mm, it is the twentieth, twentieth of December, and we're cutting grass. That says a lot, doesn't it, about how the seasons have moved. They've shifted slightly. So I've got some casking to do today, but I'm not gonna do it, because I've just had a text message from my local GP surgery saying, half past two, come get a booster shot. So I'm gonna go and get a booster shot. Don't wanna be poorly over Christmas, if I can avoid it. And uh, that means we're gonna have to kind of switch it up a little bit today and do some different things. So let's go into it. Oh, I was also meant to be having a job interview with somebody at half past two. We'll have to slide that back a bit. Got a new chap starting on at the bar. Should be starting on. Seems like a good enough lad, but he's just coming in for the formalities and the first shift today. Um, from South Africa, I believe. Anyway, don't get confused and distracted. Let's concentrate on the job at hand, which is go to work check the pub for any mishaps it is Monday after all and then check the brewery and maybe give you guys a bit of an update as to what has or more correctly hasn't been going on so we've uh, just brought some veg round veg man delivery Let's see if I can do this one handed oh boy the door shut there we go. Oh my goodness. Let's run this veg up the stairs, boys and girls. And then I'll come back down and turn that shut, even shut that door. Aha! So some plonker has left the pass on all night. Oh my god, I'm struggling here. 
Look at that. With tissue on top. Right. Somebody's in trouble. I know who it is. Kitchen lights on. At least the place looks tidy. It's difficult to tell, isn't it, look? When the lights on. Right, I'm just going to shut this door. There we go. This is the view from the top of the stairs. We'll just close this. Right. I've just messaged Tomas and say you've left the pass on Thomas. That's what that light's for. And uh, then I put this veg away and have a look what the takings were like yesterday and Sunday. This is ready for another uh, descale as well by the looks of it. Oh, you know, absolute bane of my life, this bloody dishwasher, glass washer, because nobody's operating it correctly. Even when I put little signs up like that to make them actually think about what they have to do. Is that focusing? It seems like it's not. Anyway, let's carry on. Well, while I'm in here, may as well do a bit of maintenance on the pass. As you can see, looks like the cable's come loose up there. That looks like it's ready to burn out. All of these look like they're ready to burn out actually now because they've been left on all night. So we're probably going to lose all these bulbs and that's a little bit rattly so obviously the screws need putting in again. And there's a screw missing on this one, look. Can you see that? You can't get the staff! Right, I've hit up the element and the insides of the glass washer with some phosphoric acid or oh, it's actually Fos gel. It's phosphoric acid in gel format so it clings to surfaces. We'll let that do its work in there, that'll dissolve all that lamp scale off for us. And in the meantime, well, we knew it would be maintenance bloody Monday, didn't we? I'm going to pull these bulbs out because some of the bulbs have been damaged with this being left on all night. And we're going to assess the situation because it's not pretty and I'm uh, a little bit pissed off about this to be honest, but hey, fucking hell, as they say, let's uh, let's get stuck in and just get it repaired. And might have to put a um, hot surface sticker or something on here so people don't leave things like that on the top. Honestly. So we're going to put these reflectors back up, but to stop us losing screws again, I'm just going to have a little bit of Loctite on the thread and that should help prevent any more mishaps. And keep these nice and firmly secured in place. Looks good, doesn't it? So I've just got to do that with six more. So while I'm at it, I've taken the front controls off the heat lamp and pass controller just to give it a little bit of a maintenance. You can see the box has cracked here from heat dissipation from the uh, big potentiometer that we've got on there. So it probably needs a new box. But inside everything looks spot on. So I'm just going to pull this big potentiometer kind of thing off. And I'm going to see if I can find a way to limit it so it won't go up to the maximum number of 10. It says 10 on there. That's absolutely meaningless, that dial. But I wonder if I can just throttle it a little bit so we can keep it reined in. And then we're not running all the lamps at maximum, you see. We'll have a look. I probably can't. That's it. Did it come in? It's coming. It's going to cover me in gross stuff, isn't it? Possibly. I 
Have you found any diamond rings in there, mate? The mine that come off last week. <laughs> Stick your yeah. finger in, Tom. Oh, oh, that's gross. Can you smell it? Oh, ah, oh, shit. Is that a straw I just saw come out? Yeah. I thought, I thought it might be. Which is evident in the fact that there's thousands of straws in the bin. Make sure your bucket's under there. <laughs> yeah, we're draining now. There you go. You can be a qualified. Turd wrangler now, mate. Smells. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> like your mum. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a bit of fun. Tom down on his hands and knees, cleaning out the drains. He's a well-paid plumber, one might say. So I'm going back upstairs in a minute. I want to uh, just redress that uh, glass washer. I need to find a couple of um, star, what they're called, Torx bits. Here we go, this might do it. What's that? It's probably not big enough. Uh, what we got on here now, they're a bit too small. So I just want to take the centre um, drain section on the glass washer out because it's got a little bit of, I don't know, uh, lime scale clogging it up there so that's another job which I'm gonna have to race to do yeah that'll do us and then I'm gonna have to go and get this uh, this vaccine oh god sakes it makes it difficult doesn't it because I've got a oh is that it now there we go there we go I can stick a Stick a bit in there. That'll do the job. Alright, let's go and pull this centre section out and see what happens. Well, that, folks, was a waste of time. So, unfortunately, it only pulled a little piece of plastic out the middle. And, uh, they didn't want to film in there because the chefs are prepping food and they've got music on. They don't want it crashing the audio, you know. So, that's as far as I'm going to go in here today. I'm going to get ready now and shoot up to our local hospital. Get stabbed in the arm and then probably put this video together. That's what I'm guessing. I've got a lot to do in here, look. Right, look how messy it is. TV that broke down. Dominator TV from his bedroom. Managed to fix it, replace the LED lights in the back. Had to do some pump clip things. What's this off? Oh yeah, I had to repair a leg on the ladies' toilet's um, sink area the other day. And that was some scrap that came from it. And then we've got all of this grain. I did all this the other day. I was going to film it, but it just got away with me. So I cleaned all these shells off. Cleaned up all of the specialty malts, gave the floor a good clean, make sure that we've got, um, down here it will be, yeah there it is, all the bait stations and everything like that. We've got another tonne of extra pale malt in, half a tonne of lager malt, loads of casks here, vacant gesture, vacant gesture, vacant gesture, kegs sorry, they're carbonating up and they should be ready to go. Then out here we've got more kegs ready to go on the bar. Over here we've got more casks of beer. They've, they've come out. Best bitter. And then we've just got a couple of tanks of beer to come out as well. Uh, keep your eyes out though, boys and girls. I don't think I've got this on the website yet. Secret City. You know, I really should double check. I've only got a few. I've only got a few cases of that. So anyway, I'm just going to go and turn this light off. So I don't end up getting too carried away, and I'm gonna go and uh, get boosted. Booster up. Well, here we are. Out patience. Let's go get this done. Now I managed to shoot back in time to have the interview with the, the new member of staff, Dylan. He's a right dude. He's gonna fit right in with us. I tell you what, though. 
I didn't expect the Moderna. I thought they were going to fire me up. Oh well, never mind. That means I'll be able to pick up uh, all bandwidths on 5G now. I've got both of the chips in. Lovely job. Right, I'm going to go home now, 327. I should really maybe go in the brewery and do some tidying up. Uh, you know what? I really can't be bothered. I've got to go and look at the winter menu, which starts in January after Christmas. And uh, yeah, I need to check it over, format it, and then send it back for Tom to print out and get published online so people can see what goodies we're going to be having for winter time in the brew shed. So let's go and do that. What on earth have I come home to? Ice cubed in. Like Mount Everest explorers. Oh, look who it is. It's little Reggie. Come here, bud. Hey. Oh, look at you. Aren't you a handsome little devil? Chance is upstairs, is he? Shall we see if he'll come? Chance. Chance. Reggie's getting all the attention. Here he is. Hello, mate. Come and say hello to your fans on YouTube, boys. You know what, they're going to want me to take them for a walk now, aren't they? Going to go for a walk, lad? Going to go for a walk? Oh, I think that bum shake means yes. Well, I did try and warn you, ladies and gentlemen, that you can't force a video. And this is one of the reasons why I've not done much on YouTube lately. Because, frankly, there isn't a lot going on at the brewery. I'm brewing, and because I've got the process so finely tuned at the moment, um, when I'm done, it's just a case of packaging and uh, coming home. There aren't that many maintenance jobs to do in the pub, because again, we've been taking care of things. Let me get this uh, Bohemian Pilsner in a glass and uh, talk a little bit more about what I'm doing or more... Uh, well, what I'm not doing, I guess. So, yeah, that's how it's going at the minute. We're also kind of slightly concerned as to how the next few weeks are going to play out in terms of coronavirus restrictions or anything like that. Um, we don't know what's happening. Apparently there's been a COBRA meeting recently uh, about some further restrictions. There's talk on the grapevine of uh, mediocre at best rescue package for the hospitality industry. Oh, I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen. Again, due to lack of leadership, uh, we just don't know what direction this business is heading in. So I'm reluctant to spend any money on any new projects and uh, any more maintenance projects or development projects or anything like that simply because we don't know what's around the corner do you know what it's quarter four but this is the first time I'm gonna say it in December it's the 20th drinking at quarter four fuck it it's Christmas as they say cheers Oh, I hope you're bum. That is lovely. Not normally a big Pilsner drinker, but this one has got a little bit more going on in it. 5.1% Bohemian Pilsner. Available on harrisonsbrewery.com. So that's where we are. Anyway, I managed to bang a video out for your enjoyment or displeasure today. You make your own mind up. I don't think I'll get one out tomorrow, quite frankly, because of all the reasons I've just explained. But I will try and find something interesting to film nonetheless. And if something interesting does crop up, then you're going to be the first to know about it. 
But there we go, 20th of December, ladies and gentlemen, have a good Christmas. And uh, yeah, that's an explanation as to why I've been a little bit um, off the tube at the moment. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. I'll tell you what you can do, actually. You can thumb up the video because apparently it's got something to do with algorithms. And uh, because I've not put a lot of video out recently, video content, maybe that will inspire me to do more. Who knows? I don't normally ask you to do that these days, do I? Right on. See you on the next one. Cheers, everybody.